think that Leggett proved himself at Zoe Ridge when he charged up at, at the front? Well, I think he did. I, I think it, it was a very brave thing that Leggett did. I mean, uh, I wouldn't I don't know whether I would have done it. Perhaps if I had been in his position, I may have done. But what he did, uh, first of all, uh, was that Leggett put on a, nearly a white shirt <laughs> and he took one of my friends with him, um, Alec Lyle. Mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't in my platoon but I, he was a friend of mine and been for years and another couple of fellows and uh, <coughs> they went out looking for positions to put machine guns. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember Lyle saying to me, he said, I said, to Leggett, why don't you go down, sir? You'll get shot with that white shirt on. Leggett said, that's the idea, boy. He said, draw their fire and then we'll know where to put the machine guns. And I think he was a very brave man Jeez. to have done something like that. No. But, uh, so he's still wearing his, his yellow shirt. I don't put that his yellow shirt on. <laughs> I just don't remember he had a rain cape over his shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> through action, they striding up there with his little revolver and his bright yellow shirt, he was asking to be shot. You didn't find it inspirational at all? You just no, thought I'll <laughs> keep clear of you, mate. He had any amount of guts. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. He wasn't lacking guts in anything, no. Colonel. He didn't flinch. But he, he just didn't have the right idea somehow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you, uh, for a start, what was what was your initial reaction when you saw Usua Ridge? Oh, it was one of those things. Of, it was a, it wasn't a very steep run, but they were dug in up there, and we knew we had to take it yeah. under anything. So we that's the last battalion bayonet charge in military history, a full battalion. That's the last ever in the military history. And the Japs didn't like cold steel, <coughs> not coming at them. They didn't mind putting it out to somebody. D d did they have bayonets as well? They had bayonets, mm -hmm. but the paratroops only had a short rifle. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an effective rifle, yeah. but only a short one, whereas we had the old 303 with quite a bit of length on it. 